is up everyone so in this tutorial we will be doing something very nice uh, I personally like this uh, we will be creating a react app uh, then host it on Amazon cloud and then see it in action uh, so I guess without wasting time let's get started so the first thing you're gonna do is head over to aws.amazon.com s3 and you're gonna click on get started with Amazon s3 so if you already have an account with Amazon, then you can uh, just enter your email address, click next, and it's going to ask you for your password. But let's say you're new, um, you know, you're going to click on create a new account. You're going to enter your email address, a password, then confirm the password, and then enter an account name, then click next. Uh, and then it will eventually ask you for a credit card info. So for the starting, I guess for a hobby, uh, it's pretty generous. Um, it won't charge you anything but I think they do that just to verify your account and make sure you know you're just not uh, messing around so once you've done that then you're gonna get an email so which I'll show you now you're gonna get an email like this uh, which will basically tell you you know the account has been created and blah 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 so you know uh, you can just uh, look at it and be happy Okay, so the next thing we will do is create our react app and then we will deploy that to github and connect that with Amazon so that we have a continuous, uh, you know, uh, integration happening. So any change you make uh, in your React app, you then push the changes to GitHub. It will uh, get updated on the Amazon site, which I'll show you guys as we go along. So let me uh, create the React app. All right, perfect. So the React app has been created. So let's see the into it. Uh, I think we call it AWS React Demos. Here we go. And I can do this. That's good. Uh, so now what we'll do is we will go into GitHub and create a repository. And then we can push these changes in. All right, so here I am. And what I'll do is I'll just head over to GitHub and I'll say github.com slash new. And then we will give it a name. I will just keep the same name. So I'll say AWS react demo and then we'll say uh, you know amplify console react demo so amplify is the service that is used on the amazon side to host uh, the react app we're going to choose public we're just going to leave everything as is and i'll just say create repository all right so the repository has been created and uh, we can now start integrating this or so i guess push the changes to it so i'll go back to my console and here I am. Let me just clear all this mumbo jumbo. So the first thing I'll do is I'll say git init. Actually, it's already initialized, but what the heck. And then also git uh, remote. Well, you know, I'll just copy this. So I'll copy this. I'll say control C, paste it. And I think I have two gits. All right, so we'll do this. So now everything has been done. So I'll say git status, see what we have. Well, nothing anyways, honestly. Uh, but we will do is we'll say git add dot and then we will do a commit i will say initial commit all right and then we'll just push the changes say git push and we'll say dash u origin master or master beautiful so the changes have been pushed to our um, repo so let's see if we can see this all right, so as you can see, uh, the changes are here. That's our app.js file. So that's pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we need to actually go to the uh, AWS console and we can go, uh, you know, find Amplify service and connect the Git uh, up to it. So I'll come over here and I'll say AWS console, console, da, 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 da. Yeah, there you go. All right, then you're going to come here to the top. So if you're uh, not logged in, then just make sure to log in. Uh, but you will come here and it'll say Amplify. All right, AWS Amplify. I'm going to select that. And then what you will do, you will say Get Started. And now you have two options. So we want to do uh, this one because we want to connect it to our GitHub repository. This is for uh, doing a backend. So I'll say Get Started. Uh, you're going to select GitHub. Then you will say Continue. So now it's going to say, you know, authorize uh, GitHub to access your thing. You're going to say, of course. And once that is done, all right, then I'm here. 
Now from here, you're going to select your repository. So I'll say AWX React Demo. And we only have one branch, so I'll say Master. There's no other branch, actually. I'll say Next. All right, so we're just going to, uh, you know, um, keep everything default. We'll say, yeah, we're happy with this. We'll say Next. All right, so once that is all done, then you're going to say Save and Deploy. Beautiful. All right, so now here it says Creating React App. And then here you can see it's going to do the provisioning, then it's going to build it, and then it's going to deploy it, and then, uh, you know, we can actually uh, verify this thing. So let's let this thing uh, do its thing while we wait for it. Perfect. So now the uh, app has been uh, freshly baked. So let's click here and launch it. Ooh, that was nice. All right, so the app has been, uh, you know, uh, launched. So now let's go make some changes, and uh, we're gonna see that it's going to, uh, you know, build it, and everything's gonna happen uh, by itself. We just have to push the changes to GitHub because, you know, that's what we did. We connected our GitHub repository here. So I'll come over here, and I will actually just say, open this in my VS Code. Alrighty, I'm here in VS Code, so I'll come here to app.js and that's for fun. I'll just say here I'll say hello AWS boom boom. Wow, okay I'll just 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 add some excitement. So I'll save this and then I'll come into my um, Here and I'll just see status. So yeah, we changed that one file. So I'll add that it commit dash M and then we will say, you know, changes. We'll say V2 changes. If I can spell, seriously. Okay, once you have done that, then we'll say git push origin master. Uh, okay, so watch this. As you move your changes, uh, this thing should, uh, you know, start to, um, uh, you know, uh, build everything and uh, deploy the app again. I think that that's very cool. All right, so this is all done. Let's click it. And what do you know? We have our changes committed. So there you go. This is uh, this was just a brief, I guess, tutorial on how to build a React app and how to create a, an Amazon account, I guess, and then deploy the app and then see it, uh, you know, uh, the changes taking effect. Uh, I guess I'll be making maybe a more detailed tutorial on how to build a maybe a more complex app. If you guys really want that, then just shoot me a line. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and that'll be it for now.